Take your meds. All right, now that we can function, As you can tell by the title of today's video, this is going to be my first ever attempt at a 24 hour readathon, reading for 24 hours straight, kind of. I know everybody does these videos a little bit differently. Some people sit and read 24 hours consecutively, straight through. Some people split it up and read over the course of a couple days, but 24 hours total. I am gonna attempt a little bit of a mix of both. I do wanna keep it as consecutive as possible. I wanna read as many hours straight through as I can, but I know we're gonna take breaks. It is not humanly possible for me to sit and read 24 hours straight through. I'm gonna be realistic with myself. It is Wednesday, about 1.30 right now. I'm gonna start at 2 p.m., half an hour. So if I were to read 24 hours straight through consecutively, we would be done at 2 p.m. Thursday. Now I know we're not gonna finish at 2 p.m. because like I said, 24 hours straight is not for me, but I do wanna keep it as close as possible. I think I'm gonna set a stopwatch instead of a timer for 24 hours because I think that'll be easier to adjust and manipulate if I have to. Also, I'm gonna be a proud iPad kid for this video because I think setting it on here where it's bigger and it's more prominent will be better motivation for me. So, pre-game interview. No, I do not think I'm gonna perform well. One. This is my first ever attempt here. This channel, this experience is gonna be a lot of firsts for me. But this specifically, I'm absolutely winging this. I have absolutely no strategy. No strategy, no technique, no plan. Two, I love to sleep. It is probably one of my favorite things to do, sleeping. I mean, I know, I'm confident that I'll be able to stay up fairly late, but sleep will come for me eventually. We'll just see how far off from two o'clock tomorrow I actually finish. That's the real challenge for me. How close can we get to 24 hours? We'll see how long it takes me to finish one book in general. How many books I read total within a span of 24 hours. My guess is three, but I realistically have no idea. Also, I'm sorry, I sound okay right now, but if I sound sick at any point of this video or I'm sniffling a lot, I'm not sick, but my allergies are currently curb stomping me, so. Disclaimer. But I do have a bit of a lineup for this video, a couple books in mind. I'm currently about halfway through This Delicious Death by Kayla Cottingham. So I could finish this, but not absolutely loving it. I thought the premise of it, the idea of it was really cool. I talked about it a little bit in my last video, but basically this virus sickness happens kind of like COVID, but people who go through it become hollow, which means they can only then survive off of eating human meat. You know, people go feral, but then society creates kind of like a synthetic flesh substitute and like everything kind of becomes normal again because the hollow people can eat the fake organs. But it's about these four friends who all went through the hollowing and now they're going to like this music festival out in the desert, Coachella type thing. But one of the girls ends up going feral and eating a member of a boy band. So but like I said, I just, I like the idea, the storyline, the premise, but I just don't know if I love the execution. Like it's very like contemporary teen talking about pop culture. Like one of the girls is an influencer and they literally mention demonetization on YouTube. And I'm just like, I don't like that in books. So I'm just, I'm not loving this. I also have, I'm excited to read this, Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark. This is my step. This is my step into romance and I'm excited. This is my first ever Sophie Lark, my first ever mafia romance. I'm not counting Haunting Adeline as any Thing. within my journey to beginning romance as a genre. We're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. I do think mafia romance is going to be something that I enjoy. And this book is just so pretty. I also have Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. I have like always seen this book and I've heard like crazy things about it. I've never read Karen Slaughter, but I do feel like I'm a little bit in the mood for like a mystery thriller type thing. I don't actually know what this is about. I think it's about two sisters who when they were younger, their younger sister disappeared and then in the current day, 
one of the sisters husbands get murdered and they're trying to figure that whole thing out but yeah i've heard crazy things about this book i might start with this one and then of course i have the ballad of never after i don't know if i want to end up reading this for this video because i don't know if i want to sit here and like burn through it i might want to read it and savor it because i loved once upon a broken heart so much and i've heard that this is even better so i don't know if i want to sit and like immediately digest it all and then of course the third one doesn't come out till october so i might want to savor this one for as long as i can and then lastly i have the six of crows now i read this i don't even know how long ago but it was a long time like years ago and i don't remember being obsessed with it like i liked it I had a good time but i didn't like absolutely love it and then i bought crooked kingdom never read it so i have crooked kingdom sitting on my shelf on red and i'm kind of in the mood to reread this so then i can go on and read crooked kingdom might be a vibe i think what i'm gonna do is sit and read like the first couple pages first chapter of each of these and decide which one i'm most in the mood to read i'm really nervous to see how this could go because i could end up absolutely hating it and never doing one of these again or i could love it that's the beauty of trying new things so So I'm about an hour in and I have read about 100 pages of the book. So far, everything is fine. I'm beginning to think that I picked the worst possible challenge for myself to try because when I sit and read for long periods of time, I do get sleepy. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Like right now, I'm feeling like I could lay down and take a nap, which is the exact opposite of what I should do. So the book, I like the book so far. We have two rival mafias, the Irish mafia and the Italian mafia, but they're in current day Chicago and they're both kind of like running the show, the underground show, the politics of Chicago. And like, it's low key a bit of a Romeo and Juliet vibe between these two families. Like the Gallows are the head of the Italian mob and the Griffins are the head of of the Irish mob and their two like enemy families. But then they get in a bit of a fight and the two fathers come together. And so they decide to arrange a marriage between two of their kids to kind of like. So we do have enemies right now. Enemies to lovers is my favorite trope. It will always be my favorite trope. Don't have a ton of thoughts about it yet. I'm on page 92, chapter nine. Not super far into anything yet, but so far I'm already feeling tired, which is not a good predictor. Like I'm one hour in. That means I have 23 more to go. I was gonna chug it, but four and a half hours in. It's been four and a half hours, and I have officially finished The Brutal Prince. One book down. I guess this technically actually took four hours to read because the first 25 ish minutes I was kind of reading a little of each book. I'm so overwhelmed at the fact that there is still 20 hours to go. It feels like I've been doing this for days, and is it? and it's been four and a half hours. So, Brutal Prince, I think, I think I would give it a 3.75. I did not dislike it by any means. The entire time things felt surface level to me. I don't know if this is gonna make any sense, but the entire time I was just kind of waiting for things to go deeper. Like with Ada and Cal, I feel like the romance between the two of them could have been like built up a little bit more. Like it, it just felt surface level to me. Obviously there's the whole forced marriage aspect and then she moves into their home. And then like very quickly, I feel like the whole enemies thing gets dropped. I don't know. They're just like, there wasn't enough buildup for me between the two of them. And that's my favorite part of romance is the buildup rather than the achievement. I don't know. I just like wanted more out of it. I think I'm gonna pause here, take a little break because I need to shower, maybe get ready for bed. It's only seven o'clock. But this is all I'm doing for the rest of the night, so might as well get ready for bed. And we will move to the next.
So I simply got a full night's sleep last night and I did not make a point to wake up earlier than usual and continue. I knew I was gonna be bad at this, but I didn't think it was gonna be this bad. I ended up reading another hour. Seven hours. Literally not even halfway done. This is literally how I bookmarked the book last night. What is this? So I think we're just going to be abandoning the original, get as close to 24 hours consecutively as possible. And now we're just going to be reading for 24 hours overall. I'm so sorry to anyone who's disappointed in me. I'm so sorry to anyone who's rooting for me. But I told you to lower your expectations. So I made it to page 97. Literally stopped in the middle of a chapter. I... I try my very hardest and darndest to stop in between chapters. I don't know, something about it just like irks me when I have to stop in the middle of a chapter. But then sometimes I'm flipping through, trying to find when the chapter ends, and it's like seven or eight pages, and I'm like, I can't do that. So we're on page 97. I am enjoying this so far. I have, I, there are lots of questions. So you start out right away, and this woman, her husband, gets knifed. He gets murdered. So I'm gonna keep reading. Again, the concept of this video has just gone off the rails but i'm still gonna keep going so it's 2 p.m 203 meaning we are officially 24 hours in from when i started this video also meaning that if i were doing this successfully i should be done or close to done want to know where i'm at want to know how many hours in we are nine nine hours in not even halfway again i knew i was going to do poorly but i didn't think it was going to be this bad i'm not going to quit just because i technically failed does not mean i'm quitting i'm on page 156 i'm almost halfway through pretty girls still enjoying still having a good time but for now i'm going to keep trucking i'm going to keep persevering no i am not one of the strongest soldiers but i will keep soldiering on I look like a serial killer. I am no further into the challenge. I'm still only 10 hours in, okay? However, I made an earlier prediction as I was reading in my head. I didn't tell you guys as to how I thought this was gonna go. And I just got to a part where I think I'm right. I think I'm right. I don't know why I decided it was a good idea to put this on and then speak because, but I think I just got to a part that confirmed my theory, my guess. I'm gonna go take this mask off though because it's making my lip tingle. And I don't think that's a good thing. believe that i've only just hit 12 hours i'm still not done with pretty girls i have like 100 pages left i'm very confused as to how i finished the first book within four hours and now here we are eight hours later and i still have not finished the second i'm just glad we're now officially halfway through i feel like i cannot even call this video a 24 hour reading challenge anymore because it simply is not yeah we've got about 100 pages of this left i don't know if i'll finish it tonight i'm no longer gonna make any promises concerning this video this book is pretty good though very crazy very crazy things are happening that's about all i have the brain power to say right now so i will say more when i finish it so i just finished this i almost cried i almost cried reading the end of this and if you've watched any of my other videos you've heard me say before i am not a crier when it comes to books but the end really almost got me to be completely honest i was finishing this as i was going to the bathroom so wasn't really in the position to start crying but i think if i were to reread this I would cry. The last line, the last line of the whole book, I think I would rate this a 4.75. It's not quite a 5. I already rated a 5 on Goodreads. Realistically, I think it's like a 4.75, but it was so good. This reads like a Criminal Minds episode. Like, there's so much to it. There are so many details. Also, I feel like so many of the mysteries and thrillers that I read, they're very centered around the plot twist. Like, that is the point of the whole book, is figuring out what was going on the whole time. And don't get me wrong, I like a good plot twist. I like being bamboozled. But this book is very different in that aspect. Like, you're finding out things throughout the entire story, and it is not geared towards the plot twist. This is a story. It is very much about the family. It's about the relationship between the sisters, their family dynamics, and it was just so good. It is very sad, very graphic. Check the trigger warnings if that is something you need to do. So finishing that took me to hour 14, 10 hours to go. I don't care how many days this actually takes me. I'm not gonna give up. Call me a failure, but you cannot call me a quitter. So I'm officially 16 hours in. So that means I am technically now two thirds of the way through, if I have done that math correctly. I'm on page 134. So I'm a little less than halfway through. And really all I have to say right now is that I still love Jax. 
officially made it to hour 20 four more hours left we're in the home stretch but i finished the ballad of never after i'm going to have to reread this because i truly don't feel like i processed anything while i was reading it and right now i'm just upset because this ended on such a big cliffhanger and now we don't get to know what happens till october i still love Jax. Are you surprised? You shouldn't be. This made me love him even more. The tension between them, the the yearning, the resistance between the two of them is just so good. I don't know if I would give it a five, probably a 4.75. I know that sounds so stupid. Like what is the difference between a 4.75 and a five? There just is one, okay? It's in, inside of me, I feel a difference. I also feel like I can't give it a five yet because like I said, I have not processed this book yet. We still do not have Evangeline and Jax together. They need to be together. If they're not together in the third book, I'm gonna riot. I'm not really gonna say too much about what this was about because I don't want to spoil anything from the first book. All I'm gonna say is Avengers Infinity Stones. Great magical fairy tale fantasy vibes just like the first one. I love it. I love Jax. I love the tension. And I am now upset that I can't like sit and marinate like, I'm upset that I have to keep reading for another four hours and jump to a new book because I wish I could just, like, soak this all in, but I can't do that. I can't do that because I have four hours left and I need to get it done. I think my next read is going to be Six of Crows. Do I want to read something else? I do want to read Six of Crows, but I don't know if that's going to give me, like, the boost that I need to get through the last four hours. Like, I feel like I need something fast-paced so I can, like, burn through it. But I really want to read Six of Crows. Okay, so I actually came out to get some coffee because I have not bought coffee once this entire time. So I think it'll be a nice little treat to get me through these last four hours. So I'm at Starbucks. I don't know if I want a matcha or they have this new like macadamia nut cold brew. And I rock with macadamia nut, so I kind of want to try that, but I am going to be upset if it doesn't taste good. We're almost done. I just made it to part two of Six of Crows and we are officially at 22 hours and 43 minutes. That means I have an hour and 15-ish minutes left. I'm so happy to almost be done with this. Update on Six of Crows. I don't remember when I first read this. I was in high school, so it was like years ago, but I do like it, so I don't have any complaints. But I will be back when we're finally done, when we hit 24 hours. <laughs> Frame it. I feel like a bottle girl at a club. I finished. There's no gas left in the tank. I have officially finished this 24 hour reading challenge. I know I technically cannot even call it that anymore, but I'm going to anyways. It is so funny that I literally thought I'd be able to finish this actually close to within 24 hours. I started this on Wednesday. Do you wanna know what today is? Saturday. Today is Saturday, Saturday evening. It is Saturday at 7 p.m. I'm not gonna do the math right now because I wouldn't be able to do it right, but we are so many hours past 24 hours. To do a little recap, I officially finished three books, started with Brutal Prince. It literally feels like I read this a year ago. Don't think I could give you very many thoughts on it right now. I enjoyed it fine enough. I think it fell a little bit flat for me. Will I continue reading the series? Probably, but I don't really have a burning desire to do so. Next, I read this. Pretty Girls, Karen Slaughter. Amazing. So good. Very graphic. But this will hit you in the heart. I give it five stars. 
Next, I finished The Ballad of Never After. Don't really think I can give many thoughts on this either because I don't think I have fully let this one sink in. Still love Jax. Jax is everything to me. If Jax does not get a happy ending in the next one, and then I ended up getting about, I think a quarter, maybe a little bit more than that through Six of Crows. I'm on page 154 and I am vibing with this. I'm liking it. I'm rocking with it. This is a reread for me. Had a sudden urge to reread this so I could read Crooked Kingdom, which I have not read yet. I'm just so happy to be done with this. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to read 24 hours straight, but my original goal was to keep it close. Did I end up anywhere close? No, I did not, but I still finished. I still accomplished 24 hours of reading and I'm proud of myself. I know I failed, but it wasn't a complete fail because I didn't quit. I'm literally being so aggressive right now. I'm sorry, I need to... I need to calm down. I'm not gonna sit here and say that I'm gonna do this again. However, there is a little part of me that wonders if I could truly accomplish reading 24 hours consecutively. But if you stuck with me through this whole thing, then I'm so thankful and so grateful that you were here to experience this first for me. But that is all. I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle. I hope you decide to stick around and I'll see you in the next one.